the ring, you won't want me. Treat me like all the way, wear me out. Some arguments, you air me out. Trip about your whereabouts, I can keep no Welcome to another video. Uh, my name is Bernice with an extra E. And this is a little different. This is where I'm very vulnerable. And I wanted to share this because I know that it will help somebody. So I hope y'all enjoy. And let's get into it. Alright, so happy June. And I just wanted to start the video because... I haven't been filming lately because for one I'm on period and two I just been like going through some stuff whatever um I did clean my room today I just cleaned my bed and um I kind of want to start things off a little different now that it's June and it's a reset and it's like six months until the next year for starters I feel like I want to start this channel as a diary rather than the channel because I feel like this is where I usually like document how I'm maturing and you know becoming a better person so but um I hope y'all enjoy though. Now we're gonna go ahead and get right down to today's message. Nine signs that God's hand is on your Walk down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one with So that is sign number five that um, see, I don't even know what this video's gonna be about Just been going through so much things right now It's kind of been hard for me I did read my Bible today in Philippians, I didn't really. I'll just catch you on another day when I'm filming again because today is not the best day, and um. I just want to say that for the people who are going through things and who are going through hardships, going through struggles, know that you're not alone and know that God is with you. God is still here, even though he's not saying anything. Sometimes he is silent, but he's still here. Like, he is still here. And um, don't quit. Don't give up. And, um, yeah. That's what I'm going through right now. I just feel like quitting. I just feel like like giving up. I just feel like doing nothing at all. Like I'm trying to film, and I'm I I just don't have the motivation to film right now. And um, I'm just being raw right now. And it's just that when you're growing, when you're evolving, there's some things that's gonna be stripped from you. There's something that's gonna be added to you. And you just gotta go through it so you can see the better income, the better outcome of the situation. It's really hard. Just know that your breakthrough is literally at the end of your struggles. Like it's more beautiful than what it is now. So that's all I had to say. And um, I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Um, this is currently the next day. I'm feeling a little bit more peace about the situation because I did have people talk to me today and I have people that I never thought I would see again come to my job and talk to me. I just came from work but this is my fit. I love outfits. It's just some bottom. Yeah, my eyes look good. I'll see you on day three. I have nothing to say, really. I'm gonna go watch the viral Sarah Jake's um, sermon and then probably go to bed. And then tomorrow I'm going to the gym. So. I'm Let's go. What's up? We've been in a fight before. Now, wait a minute. When we've been in a fight before, do we or do we not have to let a few things catch off? I don't care what it takes. To the other side, I'm about to take it off. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> it ain't never. It ain't never. <gasps> I just 
came from the gym. If my hair is like this, I just came from the gym because I don't want my hair to... I have a busy day today. I have to get my oil changed. And then I have to go to Jensen and see if I can get a belly piercing. I have to go to the studio. I have to drop my other friend to work. But her car isn't working right now. Like, y'all sleep to Hopefully it's not, like, too busy. Because if it's busy, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to wear this. Y'all going to see it. Ooh, a romper with some Ugg boots. That is so cute. I'm I'm on a tight schedule and I'm playing. I don't even know how I want to do my hair too. Yeah, I don't even know how this video is gonna turn out, but I'm gonna just keep recording and see if I can make a video out of this and see if I can. Twenty one dudes on Friday. No, don't be focused. That looks so dark. Okay, hold on. I can see you there. I look a little rough, but it's okay. Are right, you moving a little? Yeah, I just want to be the passenger princess, okay? Because. Hello? Yes, I'm here. And this one, maybe it's a long way, okay? Alright, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. There is a way right now, yes, ma'am. But like I said, I mean, if you could just give me some time, I'll take care of you. I don't know where else to get my oil change. It's literally 11 o'clock right now. But yeah. I'm gonna catch y'all later though. I'm gonna go get a belly piercing. Go ahead. I'm about like 21 minutes away. So, yeah. Bernice, what are we doing? Bernice, can I get one? <laughs> Bro, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, should I? Okay, hold on. Let me call my friend right quick. She wants to come with me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, have a great day, though. Okay, thank you. And send me pictures of your belly button piercing. I will, I will, I will. This is, okay. this is very, like, Random. Like, I was not supposed to get it pierced today. But, like, I yeah, just. Yeah, people were just talking about that. You didn't yeah. say I was gonna pierce. Yeah, I so called them. Go them. I called them. They said the pierce is gonna be there today. And then something in me was like, why won't you just get it pierced? Ah! We're gonna get a belly piercing. This is a song that I really I like. He's trolling, but she doesn't think you catch her. no lie. I didn't end up getting a piercing. I was upset <laughs> because it wasn't the one that I wanted. Something like this I can't have because it's not gonna heal right. So I gotta get the one that's like like that. The one that's up there. So I can't have it. I realized I didn't show you my outfit, so I'm gonna show you now. I was gonna do a bun. Y'all sideways. But I'll see y'all at the studio. I decided to put a hoodie on. Hold on, cuz I can't even come in to see myself. It's fine. It's fine. I don't look bad. I don't look good. I look in the middle. I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay, and I'm fine with that. So I'm waiting for my bestie to pull up. I'm gonna film on my um, phone because it's just too much. Like, I don't want them to like, look at me, ask me questions, and I, I didn't tell you my car's name. Her name is Audia. I know people be saying that it's supposed to be for an Audi. I was, I wanted to get an Audi. <laughs> I wanted to get an Audi, but that didn't go as planned. But I'm very grateful for this car though. Now stay there. I don't have a girl best friend, and I want one. But I guess mine's will come when it's time. But I'm just waiting here, watching TikToks. I feel like I should talk to y'all about something, but I don't know what to talk to y'all about. Um, I don't have anything else planned. I didn't read my Bible today. I was supposed to go to Sam's Club!
My car's not been on. I'm not finna put all of this in here, so I might as well stop talking. But I'm finna start with the um, footage that I got from the studio. Yeah. Hi. It's Monday, June 5th, exactly at 7 o'clock. And uh, right now, I'm supposed to get my oil change, but I just wanted to talk right quick. Um, a little update about the studio. We did finish the song, and I have the song with me. I can't like play it too much because he told me that I can't. Um, he doesn't want me to keep playing it. He didn't tell me I was going to have a part in it. I thought I was, I was just going to do the ad libs and stuff like that. But obviously I have, I have a part in it. So that's what I did. But um, it came out good. And I was so surprised because it's my first time at the studio. And it was, it was really a fun experience. I'm just depuffing my face because my puffy eyes came from like crying yesterday. Alright, we good. We okay, so um lately it's been so hard bro like when you can't find peace in anything one moment I had peace and then the next it's just like it's just all taken away from me. One thing about being stubborn is that like I can't give up. I'm feeling every type of emotion right now. I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling frustrated. It's like very hard to wake up. Put a smile on your face, act like nothing happened, and just go through about your day. Then when it's time to go sleep at night, you can't. Like I can't even be myself anymore. Like I'm trying to be happy, I'm trying to be cool. But I just can't anymore. So both of my eyelids are puffy. Upper and lower eyelids. Oh, they look cute though. Hold on. Let me take a picture. I'm really trying to take advantage of being happy. Because I hate feeling sad. <laughs> my eyes look weird. But it's cute though. Um, I don't think y'all should sit there because the way I drive, y'all cannot stay up there. But I'm gonna drive slow for today. So y'all can stay up there. See, y'all already fallin'. Y'all already fallin'. No worry, I got y'all. I just need to have some time to myself. Just nobody around. You sitting there by yourself can either benefit you or harm you because like you're alone with your thoughts for some people i'm watching a movie tomorrow and i'm watching a movie on thursday one of them i don't have to pay for but like <laughs> i love movies oh there's a maserati oh my gosh when i tell y'all i love maseratis that's my dream car by the way so freaking beautiful 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 the one thing I love that makes me so attractive is that uh, the crown sign that's on the side. Oh my god, I love that. But I'll catch you on the flip side. Um, they say it's going to be uh, like a two hour wait. Let me show you my fit because I haven't showed y'all. I love this song. This is not love, baby. This is no boy. Leave no horseshoe. I'm in the bank looking for you. I'm in New York on John Chetri. Supermodels in the yard say, lock the door to the bathroom. They doing something that. Not Pepsi. 
I'm just pouring out my shots. I remember that I told y'all this shit. I was kind of like a mass text. I remember that I told y'all. Alright, so I'm not going to record me um, working out because I want to get other people in it. And plus, I'm going to be working out with other people. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. Uh, um, so, I just got my oil changed and I went to the gym. When I was picking up my keys for my car, Someone was actually talking to me and he was in a wheelchair and he was like, you finna pay for my stuff? And I was like, no. And that's when he was like, how old are you? And I was like 19. And then he said, um, oh, that's good. You stay in school and uh, keep your head up and stuff like that. And I feel like that was confirmation for me. Um, especially with like friendships and relationships. I feel like those were the hardest for me to like, to like give up, but sometimes you just gotta let go of um, relationships, platonic or romantic, because they're not really good for you. Like if you losing yourself trying to keep someone else. So it's like they say, love is a drug. When you kind of like stop talking to a person, it's like withdrawals from a drug basically and it hurts like pain often brings clarity i'm very proud of myself for keep going so it's better to sit through the pain so when it comes again you'll learn how to get through it that's what nba young, young boy said in one of his uh, songs i forgot what it was but yeah i'm gonna catch you when i get home because i take a long time shopping. Hey, that beautiful. I heard you had a long day. Let's believe that time. Ain't gonna last forever. It's gonna be okay. They try to get me down. You can't blame my. I'm home right now. I'm going to go through my uh, clothes and pick out the things that I don't need. And then I'm gonna clean around my room, take out the things that I need. I'm gonna charge all my batteries because this one has nothing in it. It'd be quick to die. Like, it don't wanna stay with me. Like, it's okay though. Later. I should just get up. <laughs> so yesterday I did do um Bible study before I went to work. So this is how I usually do it, but this is what I did yesterday. The verse was uh Philippians 3 13 verse 14. It says, But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and reaching forward to what is ahead, I pursue as my goal the prize promised by God's heavenly called in Jesus Christ. So that was what I did yesterday. I just want to share that with y'all. For those who care. And for those who's actually watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Alright, so we're here. I don't know if I can see myself. But it looks like it's going to rain. You see that gray cloud? Well, 
I'm already done. But yeah. I wanna make sure I have nothing. Okay, honestly, I haven't thought this through because I don't have nowhere to set y'all. Like, nowhere. I probably should put it like, on top of my bag, maybe. A quick little update. Um, I decided not to get a belly piercing because um, I don't want it no more. I wanted to um, talk about a few things that I've learned so far within like seven days of just like complete silence and like really focusing on me and God and stuff like that. Um, I did get confirmation today that I wasn't crazy. Like, yeah, I feel like a really good relief. I was listening to a podcast. It's called No For Sure Podcast with B. Simone and Megan Ashley. And I've learned a few things that I wanted to share. One thing I learned about was healing, holding accountable, and not adjusting your boundaries because you want them to feel better. Two, self-love. The reason why your heart hurts after a breakup is because you put too much energy in the relationship and not, on, not enough on yourself. Seeking the kingdom of God first will not have you worried about any of that and if you want confirmation that is so cute hold on i'm gonna show you yeah that's a rainbow noah has had to build an ark and, and everybody thought he was crazy because it haven't been raining in so long and he built the ark anyway because he obeyed god and it ended up flooding the earth and everything and he said that if you see a rainbow it, it's just a reminder of um, him not flooding the earth anymore like promises that he had for Noah. I wanted to share a clip from the podcast. Anytime your heart been hurt, I say this online, you don't gain away too much energy. Mm. It's like you don't spend too much money at the mall, so now it's affecting your bank account. Mm. You got to put that energy into you. Mm. Yeah. Drink your water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worry about you. Yeah. Stop worrying about me. I'm good. I'm going to I'm gonna warm meals on me. Mm -hmm. Put that energy to you so we both can glow together. Yeah. Yeah. And every time we touch, every time we talk, Ooh, yeah. you pouring all into me. You're empty. And then I'm taking it to somebody yeah. else. Ooh, yeah. Ooh Jesus. Jesus. And women put relationships for God sometimes, man. It's for no, sure. 100%. 100%. Like, this, 100%. I did that so much in my man past. Ain't gonna let you yeah. do that. He we, ain't gonna, gonna accept your love. He gonna let you have it. He gonna be like, you love you. And then that way, come back when you're ready. Yeah. It was pointing me out. Like, but anyways, um, when you're going through like hard times, I feel like nobody like understands me but God. Like God was there throughout the whole thing, and I'm so grateful for that. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Just keep going, and that's what I did. And now, I mean, I'm not like all the way there, but I'm getting there. Like I'm not giving up. So I just wanted to end it like that because I only have three minutes on here. Y'all watch the whole thing. That's great, <laughs> but it was it was embarrassing for me. But I know God wanted me to share this, so I'm just putting it out here, and I'm hoping that so it helps somebody. So, uh, if y'all like this video, subscribe to see more, like, comment, and share if y'all want to. That's up to y'all, not me. I'll see y'all in my next video. Mm -hmm.